Hello. So in the previous two episodes, we explored two different ways of doing infinite scrolling without page refresh using Hotfire. The first approach was using exclusively Tubo streams where we had a load more button on the bottom of the page. And when we click load more, it would add the next page of uh, records and so on. And the second approach was using the exclusively lazy loading Tubo frames so that when we scroll to the bottom of the page, it loaded the next uh, page of uh, records. And now we're going to explore a third way of uh, doing infinite scrolling using Tubo frames plus Tubo streams in a combination. So to do this, let's uh, reuse the same application we used in the previous two episodes and add a new uh, scaffold. Let's say Rails generate scaffold artists and an artist will have a name. Let's go to our seeds and generate some artists. So I will say artist dot create name will be faker artist dot name. Let's say rails db migrate and db seed. Okay, now let's navigate to slash artists. And here we see a list of 100 artists on the page. Let's add some basic pagination with page. So the same way we did with our comments and posts, we're going to add page. Let's go to our artist controller. And here in the index action, we will say page for artists. And uh, let's refresh. And now we can see just five artists on the page. Let's also show their IDs so that we well can count how many records we see on the page. Let's go to an artist partial and also add the ID. Okay, so now we can see only artists from ID 100 to ID 96, just five artists on the page. And now on the artists index page, let's also add the a lazy loading tubo frame on the bottom. Let's say equals tubo frame tag. Let's give it an ID of pagination. Let's uh, say that the loading will be lazy and the source will be posts or actual artists off. And the interesting thing here will be that we will also try to respond with the format not HTML but with the format turbo stream. Format turbo stream. So we will go to our artists uh, path in our artists controller and try to respond with the format tubo stream. Let's say in the controller that we can respond with format tubo stream. Respond to do format, format.html by default, and also format.turbo stream. Okay, and now let's create a template that we are going to respond to. So we have index HTML and we'll also create index dot turbo stream dot erb okay uh, let's see if uh, anything gets rounded let's say hello let's uh, refresh our artist list go to the network tab and scroll to the bottom and you see it tries to respond with artist turbo stream and here we have hello but well this hello isn't added anywhere so let's uh, uh, add a turbo stream tag. We'll say equals turbo stream dot append. We're going to append the next page of artists to the DOM ID artists. So append to artists, and we will say equals render at artists. Let's see if anything happens. So we have a list from 100 to 96. Let's just uh, refresh, clear the network and scroll to the bottom. Okay, let's do it again. Will anything happen? So it tries to respond and it says an error occurred trying to load the source. So we'll actually also need to have a corresponding tube of frame tag in the response. We will say uh, also equals tube stream dot replace. So we are going to replace this uh, turbo frame tag, replace pagination with 
pagination. And here we are also going to say that we're going to have uh, a param for page. It will be the next page page at page.next. And let's see if this works. I will refresh the page, go to the bottom, and you see it keeps loading the next page. So it kind of works. If we go to see the params, we'll see page four. We will see, okay, we will see page five and so on. Here we still have some errors. Well, let's try to scroll down more. Let's try to scroll to the very bottom of the page. So uh, ID 11, 6, and so on. And you see it keeps scrolling forever. And we don't want this uh, to be scrolling in a loop forever. So let's say that we will not keep scrolling if there are no uh, uh, additional pages. Let's say if at page.next.present, then we are going to add this uh, additional to the frame tag. Now let's uh, try once again. So we have ID 100 to 96, we keep scrolling. You see the records have been added on the bottom and the tuba frame tag is being refreshed with the uh, URL to the next page. And let's try to scroll to the very bottom. And you see no loop anymore because this is the last page. So that's about it. All we did is uh, we've added a tuba frame tag uh, to the artist's URL that tries to respond to the, the tuba stream template. And in the tuba stream template, we add our artists, the next page of artists, and well, we replace the pagination uh, tuba frame with uh, uh, the URL to the next page after the current page. And that's about it. But one more thing that is really good to do. If you are doing infinite scrolling using page, it would be good to use the uh, page extra named page countless. That uh, improves the performance uh, and removes some things that uh, uh, we don't need when doing infinite scroll pagination. So all what we need to do for this is uh, we would go to our comments controller and here instead of just having page, we would say page countless. Let's see if it would work. Uh, page countless, and we would need to go to our page.rb and add the page countless to make it work correctly. So I would go to our config, initializes page.rb, and add page extras countless. And I would uh, restart the server. And while uh, page countless is uh, kind of an extra that would improve our uh, page's performance if we are using uh, infant scrolling pagination. So now on our page, on artists, we can add page countless and it will work. And yeah, it's worth adding page countless. Uh, to our comments controller and to our posts uh, controller also, just like this. So that's about it. Thanks for being with me and see you in the next episode.